Welcome to another tutorial by Madison Studios. Within this video, we're going to be going through the Puppet Warp feature within Adobe Photoshop CS6. Now, if we just pull up the iconic M of the Mad Madison Studios logo, what we're wanting to do is to actually celebrate the name and, and the logo and create uh, an illustration. To add a bit of variety and a bit of a, a human feel to it, the managers wanting to use an Artex sort of texture to it. Now to do that we've experimented with a, a few different things, but the best we've found was the heavy carvable modeling paste by Galeria. So if you just cast your eyes over the Photoshop file you'll see that I've labelled it Artex and then if we switch that layer on we can actually see that that is actually a scan but notice the wonderful twisting of, of the sort of modelling paste you know we've got that fold of the, the I don't know what you'd call it the material as it were but what we're wanting to do is to actually and bring those edges in so it looks like the letters actually been carved out of that paste. So if we just zoom in here, and what we're going to do here is just set up the puppet warp. Now the way this works is we've set a pin in the center. Notice how everything moves around that central pin that we've put. Can you see it's just flashed up there? And then when you set another pin it actually rotates around that last one that you set in place. Now what we're doing here is just simply making sure the shadows follow the contour of the letters. Again, notice as we manipulate this bottom one it's pivoting around that top pin. So then we're just tweaking it as we go, just dragging out those little bits just to make sure. Now the reason we would want to use this uh, wonderful feature within Photoshop is because when you see on this next bit, because I'll I do love that fold in, in the Artex, but notice how it distorts when we drag it in. See, now we're getting this weird little kink, so let's drag it out again. Now, the great thing and feature for or with the Puppet Warp is that you can actually sort of undo that, but you, you're not distorting it to the point where it's unrecognisable. You're actually working with the flow of the material. I guess the best way you could illustrate the puppet warp is by thinking of it as material and actually pinning it into place. So I really hope that's helped. Uh, please feel free to leave uh, or ask any questions and look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Bye.